Sounds about my end. British Stewart truck. I'm just getting out to do our checks and drop this trailer this morning to take the truck for service, so we'll get on with it. Saturday morning so it was planned that it was going to go in this morning which just dropped a trailer we've just set off it's 7 23 at the minute and we're heading over to get the truck serviced all right so we're sat in death at the minute waiting for the truck this is our little room we've got just finished editing the video and uploading it now well we've got good internet so we were straight into garage so hopefully we won't be much longer Four hours later and we're out of DAF. Just coming up to five past twelve at the moment. Have a long wait for that, but we got there in the end. God knows what they were doing to it, but I left, I left my tachograph card in it because I was straight in. I didn't think it was going to be that long, but I put it on bed before I left it, so it's at least kept my card. Two hours forty-eight. It was sat on break. So we got we got a break in there. We'll quickly run back over to the yard, put all my stuff back in it, pick up the trailer and get on the way down towards Felixstowe. And just like that, we've got everything back in the truck. So it's quickly gonna get a sat nav set up for Felixstowe. So I can give him an ETA now before we hook the trailer up and um, get on the way down. So I'll quickly do that. We'll quickly get this. We'll quickly get this hooked up and then we'll get on the way down to Felix now. BBS and Pentalvas to lift this box off and a 1900 one to get the box on down here we've got a nine o'clock Ripley in the morning hazardous with a fridge um, delivery so we'll get that on tonight and then we'll probably go park at, at Risby truck stop or something like that there or thereabouts we can reserve a space in there so I'm trying to get this truck to self level still it's still not having it but yeah, we'll aim to get there tonight. We've got till 10 o'clock, so we might as well run a time, haven't we? So, so that is the rough plan at the minute. So, let's see how it goes. Well, we're reaching some traffic. Same, we've got a 20 minute delay at the minute here. I don't know what's going on here. But at the minute, no plans have changed, but they might be changing though. I might be covering my friend Gary's job. He's got a an 11 o'clock Liverpool for the morning which he's just not going to make is on his way down from Morpeth way I believe so he's well up at Newcastle and on his way down to Felixstowe so we might be covering that in the morning but we'll find out um, the, 
the minute they're looking into it now to see if they can change things about, so I'll let you know as soon as I know. Further down now, uh, plans aren't changing, the stainers they are, we're keeping on the same jobs. We may to go in, there's an holiday from Thursday, so it's probably they're probably getting him back up north so they can easier get him back on Thursday. So we're still doing that hazardous Ripley for nine o'clock tomorrow. I've got a space book, but we've got a space book to Cooper's cabin now at Risby. We can reserve spaces in there with nice just just takes the pressure off here we've got till 10 o'clock to get no we've got a space booked and um, I've let them know it's hazardous that we're bringing in so they've got an allocated spot for hazardous wagons in there to separate them out a bit so we'll have a, we've got a space booked they know we're coming they know we're hazardous so when we get there they'll have a space somewhere for us to go park up and out the way and then we're good then so, I told them roughly about 9 o'clock, I'm hoping it's going to be closer to half 8 and we can get booked off and start at half past 5 in the morning after 9 off and then it's probably going to be 2 and a half hours to Ripley near enough. I have done it before, me and my friend, we did, um, we did probably nearly 2 weeks out of, two weeks on it to this company, um, I it last Christmas, it's been a year before I think. Um, all the hazardous 20 footers we used to do from Freightliner Doncaster down to Ripley and back. Um, so we've, we've done it before this place. It's, um, so it's a fun one to get to, but I lived I lived around there for a little while, so I knew where it was anyway. So and we know exactly where it is now. So it's a it's a it's a simple one really. When you get there, lads are all right in there. They'll take stickers off a box. But it's no problem in the morning and then that it's in a fridge as well because it's got to be temperature controlled april to october for the what's in it what stocks in it i can't remember what it was that we're delivering to all these little jerry cans i think so we've got that tomorrow and that's back down to pentavas and felix with that box so it should be a nice round day for us tomorrow which is good it's to be coming up quite a lot at the minute, we'll take that. So, I'm gonna probably do another hour or something like that and then find a lay by for a break. We've got an hour and 52 left on this stint, and then we'll need um, 45 minutes. So, we'll get on and go find a lay by. All right, get a lay by, get this next one here. It's a big, deep lay by. We're currently 52 miles away from Felix Doe. So I might as well have my break here and coming up to 20 past four. So by the time I come, come off my break, most of the traffic in the road works about 15 miles down the road might have cleared. So we should hopefully get a good clear run down to Felix Doe now to then get a hazardous load on and go park in Risby a bit. Ready for, ready for tea tonight and getting parked up and some rest so when they get off and get paperwork printed for this next job I've got my dangerous good notes through as well so we can get them printed and then we're good to go so we've got a box off now at Felix Doe the Pentalvers it was plain sailing straight in and out there job so we're just coming up to quarter to seven so we're going to head into the dock we can get in from five to in there so we'll go find somewhere to park up for 10 minutes let everyone fight it out to try and get a position and then we can just go in there 
in special lane for empty trailers so we can just get straight in then we're just picking up we're not dropping off we're just picking up so hopefully we can be in and out of here over to Risby parked up and booked off for half past eight and then we're good to go for half past five in the morning then after nine hours off which is the plan it should put us about oh, getting on A14 about six o'clock it's going to be two and a bit hours it just probably be about 20 past half past eight in the morning at the job in Ripley which will be perfect timing all being well so that's the plan at the minute but we'll go get this box on and we'll find out from there There we go. That's what's got our box on now. It's full ADR, it's class nine, it's a marine pollutant, environmentally hazardous substances. So we've got the ADR boards up front and back. It's just unusual me seeing it. There's a fridge on the back and not just a normal container. So at the minute we're 189 miles from the job going via Risby truck stop or Cooper's cabin got us there at 8.49 at Cooper's cabin so it's gonna be a it's gonna be an interesting one in it so we'll see on that front won't we just coming up here to this checkpoint thank you and there we go we're out of the dock just like that so yeah, it's got us up there at 10 to 9 at, um, at Cooper's cabin. I told them um, 9 o'clock roughly I'd be there anyway, so we're going to be about bang on time for what I said. It's not looking good for the job in the morning, been on time now, because um, that's going to be roughly three hours away from Cooper's cabin still. It's saying three hours 53 minutes at the moment to get to get to the job by Cooper's cabin which obviously it's not good when we can't start until nine until six o'clock which is nine hours before the job but there's nothing we can do we've just got to hope that maybe traffic might be a bit quieter in the morning but you know it's trying to get into Ripley at nine o'clock in the morning looking nice but we'll see if we make any time up on the way up here so that's all we can do is just get on them get on the dual carriageway here and get a foot down to be flat out Gary would say flat out like a badger on a dual carriageway so but it's not not ideal because we are max weight in this box it's on the it's on the limit so Let's get on with it and see if we can make up some time anyway. Who doesn't, who doesn't love a evening detour through Ipswich, but through Bury St Edmunds with, um, with no signs up following a diversion route? Luckily I had this truck in front to follow and a sort of rough idea of where, of where to go because we just passed an Audi back there. And that's where magnet store is for magnet kitchens that I've delivered to before with XPO so luckily we knew a bit of knowledge of where we were going a few of locals weren't happy because we got onked it a few times but sorry but I need to come pack it with my truck stop and there's no weight limits so what can you do you can't please everybody can you not in this job anyway so we're just coming down now to get onto the to the A14 again to go one junction and then we're parking up. So, in fact, no second exit. Oh, nearly going wrong way again then. Well, that is a weight limit down there. Oh dear. <laughs> really? Oh, we're 
started from parking up today. Just coming down now to Risbit. Cooper's cabin. Just on the left here. If you've been watching the videos, you'll know there's a nice big speed bump on the way in. So we'll slow it right down for that. So it's been fully loaded. Just make our way in. As we just go down to the right. Going. Evening. Hiya. You passed you with an ID on. I have, yeah, straight down there on right, yeah. Spot off and kill. Down to park up. I was just seeing what layout was. There we have part two of an hazard one before, but I don't know if there's going to be anyone here. There's one here, so spin this round and then we'll just park up on the left hand side here. Ah. Unlock container locks already on. Did that at the port, so just free to park up, book off, and and we're good to go so just park properly so we've got enough room to get out in the morning in case he's still here Maybe just that little bit more just a little nudge and that will do us and then we're happy at that so i'm going to end this video now and get off and go run up and go book in need to put suspension down and make sure we're in neutral before i turn it off um so yeah, I'm going to end it here and go book off and get my tea sorted so I can get ready for having nine hours off tonight. So it's going to be fun. It's on a Monday. We're tired on a Monday and we're good to go for tomorrow. It's going to probably be bang on nine o'clock that we get to this job tomorrow. It's going to be tight, but join us for tomorrow's video to find out if we're going to be on time. Also, please subscribe if you haven't already. You know, we've, we've found that there's a lot of people that are watching these videos and not subscribing. And it really does help this channel grow. So if you could go hit that subscribe button and the bell notification, it's really going to help us grow. But for now, I'll get off and we'll see what tomorrow's adventure holds.